Actually, I hope y'all can see me because I can't see. This wasn't supposed to be the video that I posted today. Actually, I filmed another video last night before this news got brought to my attention. So I was just like, hmm, since we want to be reactive to videos and shit, might as well. Yeah, y'all will be seeing the video that I initially wanted to post um, tomorrow, I guess. Because that one's kind of like about the whole baby thing, how I found out I was pregnant and blah, 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 since, you know, I kind of just dropped the announcement video on y'all and I'll explain why I did that after I get into what this video is about, because I am appalled. <laughs> I really don't like bringing like personal information in my life to social media. That is why y'all have never seen me once bash my son's father online, talk about him in any type of way, trying to portray him in any type of light, but the way he tries to portray himself on social media is kind of blowing me because I just be looking like that is not the real you. And y'all will never know that. I tried my hardest to never say anything about this man on social media. He has really taken it to the point of disrespecting me because he has posted a reaction video to my pregnancy announcement. Like one, well, I, I'm confused because what does that have to do with you? And two, I'm really annoyed. I feel like you're exploiting my children at this point in my life because you asked me if you can react to the video and I told you no. I will post all the screenshots and information on this video, but let me just look for my knowledge. Okay, let me go back and see. He says, and I quote, do you care if, you, if I react to your video for YouTube? And I say, yeah, because why? And as you can see, that was February 29th. Not sure what day I released the pregnancy announcement video, but it was not long after. Contradicted himself in his video saying that he hasn't seen the video and all this and all that. Yes, you have. Pretty sure you watched it more than once. I, I do care because what does that have to do with you? This man always seems to try to insert himself into my life and my joy and my happiness of what's going on like that has nothing to do with you that's like me or y'all reacting to your ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend's wedding video and you weren't invited why it's so weird but back to what he was saying and he said question mark money because why not lol it'll bring more views to your video too i was just asking i'm not posting my video for money of course it's going to bring money but it's just like if i was posting for money the video would have been longer than eight minutes I know how YouTube works. I've been on here for seven years. In order to put ads inserted into your videos, it has to be a video longer than eight minutes where you can add ads, which collects more money. The reason I posted my video of the announcement was because I was posting stuff and I knew I wanted to get back onto social media and y'all wonder why I'm this close to the camera all the time and it's just out of the norm. So I just wanted to let y'all know. That's why if I was doing this whole thing for money, wanted to monetize off of this pregnancy, y'all would be having videos back to back to back back i have other shit going on in my life okay plus this on top of it and now that i've let you guys know that the baby is coming more videos will come but i'm not like video 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 anyways back to what he was saying lol it'll bring more views to you to your video too i was just asking and i said i just feel like there's no need for you to so i wouldn't be comfortable with you doing it like i said this was february 29th this man released the video yesterday so took the time to say fuck how you feel I'm gonna do what I wanna do. Why are you still speaking upon me, sir? We don't communicate with each other, you guys. Like, we don't communicate unless it has something to do with Layden. And that is almost never. Because what Layden has going on in his life right now, DJ doesn't involve himself into what Layden has going on in his life. Videos that you've seen with me and him, I know it can be kind of confusing to you guys when I do post videos with us together but like i said this is social media this is the internet i know what y'all want to see when i post videos with that man the written is due I, I this is my job i know i'm gonna make money off of it what y'all see the whole 20 minute videos is is a little portion of our life i try to keep it cordial when we do have those videos we are on a somewhat good term when he's not in my videos we do not communicate and he we're not posting videos together because we are not on good terms and most of the time it's because of dj if i, if I knew we was doing it for the money uh <laughs> boy the the voice memos will be on here the text messages will be on here all the fucking craziness will be on here so they can see how you are in real life like this shit is blowing me like i said i just feel really disrespected because i asked him not to do the video you still do the video which i don't really understand why and then you said that your girlfriend or whoever you're talking to at the time um told you about it i'm just a little confused because 
The person that he told me told him about it lives in a whole different country. Why am I in her algorithm on anything? This girl never pops up in my TikToks, YouTube feed, on my explore page, nothing like that. We, we're not in the same algorithm. I don't search you up. So that obviously means like I'm in the search bar, which is really weird too. It's just annoying how he comes to social media and trying to make it seem like he is such a mature person growing into this man, da 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 da, when it's like. No, I really don't understand how he's reacting to a video when I released the video He had a lot to say about it saying that I'm trying to portray a perfect family for social media With the clips of Layden and Aki and it's like I told him let me read it word for word because I got it right here <laughs> Screenshotted it. That's because I guess in his real life the people that really know him I guess comment about the type of parent he is to his son. I don't know what type of comments are made I just know that he sent me a screenshot one day of his mom sending him the link to my video and DJ said I seen it already and then his mom says you need to be doing this with your son and he said I do when I have him and then he texts me and says this is why I asked you to stop portraying perfect family shit for social media it's annoying that I constantly get messages and shit like it's every time you want to post something with Aiden and Aki I have nothing against their relationship it's just annoying to have people think I'm not in my child's life or something when, <laughs> when do I ever post Layden and Ak on my social media? All of the videos that you guys seen in the announcement video was videos from a long time ago up until now. I don't post them in their little relationship online at all because when I started doing it in the beginning, DJ has something to say about it and I respect him as his father, so I did not do it. So I'm confused on where he's getting that from and I'm confused on who's saying anything about it because I never see you guys commenting like, oh, why is Aki and his doing this with him? It should be his dad. I don't know who comes to DJ's DMs or whatever, but I'm pretty sure y'all don't be saying nothing to that man. So obviously it's people in his real life that really know what he is doing and what he's not doing, right? Right. So then I say, I'm not trying to portray anything. Are we perfect? No. Are we a happy family? Definitely, because I'm tired of him trying to say I'm trying to portray something. When you're trying to portray a whole different person on social media, I act just like this in real life. I'm confused. So yeah, I should read the whole message, but I'm not even gonna get into that because like I said, I don't like bringing cer certain stuff to social media and I feel like that's really nobody's business on what type of father figure he is to his son. I'm not a bitter baby mama. I feel like I have one. <laughs> like, I really feel like I have one at this point. I don't talk to this man you guys i don't keep up with this man's life whenever he calls to talk to layden i let him talk for as long as layden wants to talk it's not very long but that's just what it is i really don't know like you say you appreciate Ot for stepping in layden's life and being the man that he is and you respect him and la 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 but have a lot to say to me when it's not on social media this man hasn't respected me from jump. I knew that a long time ago and that's exactly why I'm not with him today. I say to this day like I hate when people associate us together like everything I do in my life it's always a comment oh DJ this DJ that oh, da, da, da. I broke up with him six years ago you guys <laughs> like please let it go. No we are never getting back together. Two no we are not like that close of friends off of social media like he said in his video he felt like I should have let him know or whatever he was saying like he had to find out with the rest of the world yeah because why do you feel like you deserve any type of information about me in my life if it's not concerning your son this baby and what I do in my life has nothing to do with you but back to what I was saying about I know I confuse you guys but let's just break it down real fast so I took a little hiatus from YouTube and all of social media for about nine months eight nine months right within those eight and nine months you see on my channel four videos with DJ two came after the fact that I said um, oh I'm back to YouTube or whatever so basically within them eight months you see one actual in real time video with DJ and every time we do upload a video he presents it to me like oh let's do this I know we will make this type of money from from this type of content and da 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 it's always like the money aspect with him which is I I don't really care because we post videos and I'm pretty sure everyone else on social media posts post their content 
to make money. Like I said, I know what you guys enjoy seeing and I know what my son enjoys seeing. He likes to go back and watch all of my videos with him being little or with him and his dad and me in the videos. He likes seeing that. So I do it partially for Layden and I do it partially because my son needs a house to live in, okay? I posted, like I said, the one video um, was posted in real time with DJ. We were cordial on talking terms back then. I would never say like me and DJ have been super close friends since we've broken up, honestly. I try to stay cordial for the sake of my kid. So one of those videos was real time. Every other video after that was not because me and him had not talked. We had not talked in a long time for the simple fact he wished death upon me and told me to jump off a bridge and die. Um, besides the point, like I said, the videos that we do post together, it'd be like people in the comments like, oh, Deja is just so defensive. You can tell Deja really never healed from the situation. Blah, blah, blah. She's so argumentative. I never reply back to none of y'all comments because y'all don't really know what goes on in my real life. Y'all don't know what I go through with this man and it's no point of me arguing with you guys um, on social media like y'all are watching and just observing what you see so that's really your opinion but I know my real life and I just don't speak upon it because like I said I don't bring my issues to social media but at this point I'm sick and fucking tired of this man always feeling like he needs to be involved like I seen a comment because I did read the comments on that video um, that he posted saying like, I just wish you would like move on. Let's see you're alive and why does everything have to revolve around Deja? Anything reacting about shit on Deja? Y'all have never seen me react to not one video that this man posted when he was posting videos with his girlfriend, cause I was gonna say ex, I'm pretty sure that's his girlfriend, and her baby, whatever, what y'all doing with y'all lives, going on dates or whatever. I never reacted to anything because I don't care. And for your girlfriend to feel comfortable with you commenting on my life is weird. She should have told you, don't do that. Your real friends in real life should have told you, that's not your place. Why? Like, you have, why? <laughs> why? You can react to anything else on the internet. Why me? Why this? Why? And the whole he's being mature, blah, 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 is a whole bunch of BS. Because like I said, the man was in my phone arguing with himself about this video. Yes, you did congratulate us. Did I feel like it was genuine? No. Did Aki feel like it was genuine? No. Because it's like he says one thing of, oh, congratulations, da, da, da. And then the next minute you're harassing me on my phone. Like, I'm confused. The whole him and Aki being friends thing, it's not a thing. I tried back then when y'all seen the videos over what, like two years ago? I tried to involve him and Aki. I wanted them to have a good relationship for the sake of my son because I was raised in that type of environment. My dad married someone and my mom and my stepmom got along. We were able to be in the same environment. And that's what I wanted for my kid. Like, you know, if he decided to move on with his life and marry someone and have kids, I would want them to be able to come around me and my family and my son as one big happy family. That's what I thought it was gonna be. I should've fucking knew that was not gonna happen. Videos that we were posting, yeah, we were cool. I feel like on DJ's end, he was really enjoying it. It was kind of uncomfortable from the jump, but like I said, I was trying for my reasons for them to get along for the sake of my son. On Aki's end, from the jump, he said it was kind of weird and he was only really doing it for me. After those couple of videos y'all seen, y'all wonder why we never posted videos again and why y'all have never seen them involved in a video again is because of DJ. Literally, that time in my life was really, really bad. I felt like I should not have allowed him to like even be involved in my new relationship, even to see it, to take part in it. Nothing should have been involved with him. My man does not involve himself with him. He does not like that man. Based on the simple fact of how DJ acts towards me, how this man harasses me, how he talks to me, how he disrespects me. I've been trying my hardest to not involve Aki to whatever me and DJ have going on when we do have craziness that happens within our lives and it's getting to a point that I cannot keep holding this man back. I've been trying to hold him back. I cannot keep holding this man back. The only thing he wants me to say is the whole pregnancy announcement reaction shit was weird. He doesn't appreciate it. He didn't feel comfortable with it either because we're both sitting here like, why? character he portrays on social media really is mind-boggling because I look at the screen like you seem like a cool dude for real like you seem like you cool but 
To me, I know that man, like the back of my hand. I literally watched him grow into the person he is today and I see straight through that bullshit. <laughs> like I see straight through it. I'm just really sick and tired of him always having to involve himself into my life when he sees that the Lord is trying to bring me joy and love and happiness. Like, it's very, very annoying. I don't care what that man does in his life. I don't care who he's doing it with. I don't care where he is every day. I don't care where he lays his head at night and who he laying it down with because I have moved on with my life. Like I said, I could go into depth about how much of a narcissist this man is, how manipulative, conniving of a person this man is, what type of father he is. Uh, you, kn you know what, whatever. <laughs> whatever, I, like I really, <sighs> I really don't know. I'm tired of talking, to be honest. Maybe I said a lot. Maybe I said a whole lot of nothing. Because like I said, I don't be really trying to put my business out there. But yeah, I'm pretty sure he's going to see this video. So this is for you. Please leave me the hell alone. <laughs> like, leave me alone. Leave whatever I have in my life. You don't have to react to anything I got going on. If you're not told, if you're not invited, it's because you're not. Stop trying to involve yourself. Do whatever you got going on in your life. Have fun with that. Me and my family, we're good. Your son is well taken care of. He's happy, he's in school, he's enjoying his life. When you call him, you see that. He's well taken care of. But yeah, you guys will be seeing the video that I initially wanted to post um, tomorrow, I guess. And on that note, I love you guys. Bye.